Are we supposed to go to sleep and wake up with the sun? Not necessarily sleep? sunrise and sunset, but one of the most powerful things one can do for their mental and physical health is to view the sun with the eyes, sunglasses off, unless you have a retinal degenerative condition for two to 10 minutes. First thing in the morning, you don't have to watch the sunrise, but while what's it's called low solar angle when the sun isn't overhead yet. So sometime before uh, 10 a.m. or so, noon, if you slept in, just do it anyway. It triggers the cortisol and melt melatonin pathways in the brain and body to be in the right rhythms. And then we definitely want to avoid really bright lights of any color mm -hmm. from the hours of about 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Wow. Blue light glasses. <laughs> I think it's a good idea for people to avoid bright lights in the evening and night. And blue, blue blockers are one way to filter out bright light by where you can still see, you can still function safely. You can't really drive with sunglasses at night, mm -hmm. but you could wear blue blockers, yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't. I personally don't wear them. I just dim the lights in my home at night. But what about on your phone? Um, well, I've texted you at odd hours of the night. Yeah, so you want to dim the screen on your phone as much as possible. Ooh. And you also want the lights low in your physical environment, literally mm -hmm. not overhead because the neurons in the eye that, look, that send signals to the brain to wake up mm -hmm. are located in the lower portion of the eye, which means they look up in the visual field. So I, I always say the single best thing anyone can do for their mental and physical health is get some bright sunlight in their eyes in the morning. If there's cloud cover, you're still getting a lot more light than you'd ever get from an artificial light. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the depths of winter in Scandinavia, you might want to get an artificial light to do that. But for the most part, sunlight will do it. And then at night, you want to avoid bright lights from about 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. of all colors. Wear blue blockers if that's in your practice. Some people get, you know, headaches and migraines. We could talk, I know you talked about migraine. The same cells in the eye that set our circadian clocks and tell us when to wake up and when to sleep have a connection from the eye to an area of the brain that's in the thalamus called the anterior thalamus, the anterior nucleus of the thalamus that then projects to the meninges, which are the, it's like the thick tissue that the brain is housed in. Yeah. This area of the brain projects there and it can cause um, photophobia and headache. So if yeah. you're getting a lot of bright lights, yes. then the blue blockers might be good for you because you can't wear sunglasses indoors. So you want to get a lot of bright light in your eyes during the day. Mm -hmm. You obviously never want to look at any light that's so bright that it hurts because mm -hmm. it can damage your retina. You don't want, I'm not talking about like staring at the sun, you know, that, that would damage your eye. But through a, wit a window, it's 50 fold weaker. So try and get outside to do this, even yeah. if briefly. And then in the, at night, avoid bright lights or wear the blue blockers. 